Hi, today is a special day. We're gonna take a look at Procreate, the, in my humble opinion, best drawing application you can get as long as you own an iPad. So I've been the owner of an iPad for quite a while now, and I've gotten used to sketch in Procreate over the course of this time. However, there are a lot of things I wish I knew earlier that made my workflow so much easier and faster and just plain better. And that is exactly why we will now go through five secret things Procreate can do, but doesn't tell you. And one of them is so dazzlingly powerful, it can make you fool anyone into thinking you are an absolute expert. Now, first things first. Let's start with wanting to draw something. But my iPad screen is so small, I don't have the big jumbo tablet like all the cool kids. How can I use a reference? without the need to split the screen into two different apps, giving me just this tiny fraction of space to actually work with. Well, if you go into your settings menu on the top bar and select Canvas, you'll see something called Reference, which is exactly what it says. It opens a little window that floats on top of everything else, containing either your camera, a specific part of your canvas, or an image from your library. You can move it and adjust its size by pulling on it with two fingers. You can even zoom in and out of your image inside the reference. Now how awesome is that? The second tip. I've gotten my reference on the canvas and sketched out my character by now, but I don't know what colors to use. And Procreate has my and your bag on this one. Did you know that Procreate can give you a full color palette from basically nothing? You just insert an image you like and it will give you a perfect color palette mixing the colors in your image. And if you think that is cool, you can even do it with your camera, which is in my opinion like one of the most useful things ever. Anyway, thanks to Procreate, you've gotten your ideal color palette by now. You can drag and drop the color to make use of the color fill function. That's most likely known to most Procreate users. But did you know that you can actually adjust the color fill threshold on the go, making it the probably best bucket tool ever? That's right, you just don't lift your pen up for a while. It will fill the color in and then you can move it left or right to adjust your threshold. That way, you'll never have these weird little edges where color just didn't fill in. Of course, it also works the other way around. When you drop in some color and it taints all of it in that color. So just adjust the threshold and you're good to go. Now the second to last tip is something I use a lot. I tend to make some basic drawing structures, like a raster for thumbnails or whatever, and having to copy the layers one by one and pasting them into a new canvas is plain and simple a pain in my ass. But little did I know, because you can actually select your layers by swiping them to the right and then drag them over to the gallery text to open your gallery, then you just drop them wherever you want to have them. Simple and easy. Plus, it saves time and my nerves. Now, the last tip is something so powerful, it's of such a magnitude that it should be illegal. Some would say it is, including me to some degree, and if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm talking about the legendary phantom layer, or private layer as Procreate would call it. Because this isn't some kind of bug that has been found out by artists, this is an actual function Procreate gives to anyone, but doesn't tell you about it. This feature is totally hidden. I don't think Procreate has ever told me that you can actually swipe the insert photo or insert file button to reveal a hidden insert private file or photo button. Now to understand what makes this so unbelievably powerful and illegal for us artists, let me explain. Procreate automatically saves your progress like a time lapse of everything you do on your canvas from start to finish. So when you insert a photo to your canvas to draw over it, it will automatically be saved in the time lapse and people will be able to see it. But inserting a private image will not be revealed on the final time lapse. The same goes for the reference window. However, by inserting a private file, which I did in this painting, I could just go about my day tracing as much as I want without any problems and the world would never know. There is literally nothing you can do to detect if someone uses this private layer to trace over something in order to get valuable internet points. I'm not saying tracing is all bad, as long as you do it for learning purposes and don't claim it as your own skill somewhere, it's totally fine and can really help you grow. Now let me know if you liked these Procreate secrets. If you did, maybe I'll do another one with Photoshop secrets in the future. But until then, have a great time and happy drawing.